My entrepreneurial journey began through a very painful problem trying to take control of my own pension. I discovered that the whole financial services world wasn't set up for normal consumers and I wanted to change that and make a difference. I set up Pension B in order to help normal people save for a happy retirement. What surprised me is that it remains as big a challenge today as it was in 2014. We are still under saving and I hope that Pension B will help us solve the journey to a happy retirement. The big idea when I started Pension B was that people would have lots of different pensions lying around from previous jobs or just ones they'd gotten themselves and they'd want to have full visibility and control over that money in one place. And that's what Pension B does. We help people bring their old pots together so they can manage them conveniently online. I think one of the most challenging aspects of being a female founder is very much still parenthood. There is something that comes with that responsibility. You often do wonder how will my investors react? How will my team react? I've learned that it's never ideal to wait for the perfect moment for everything and you just have to find a way to create more hours in the day. When I'm not working, I am in 1000% mummy mode. I have three small kids uh, of ages two, five and seven. It's a completely different world to the business world and it's incredibly rewarding to watch them grow up and to hopefully inspire and influence them for their futures. High growth companies are very much still dominated by male founders and only about 2% of funding goes to female startup teams. And that says a lot about the inherent biases that exist within the capital industry of who should and shouldn't get funded. What I would change is to introduce more women at the senior decision-making tables. Women can often understand the way that women communicate better and can help perhaps explain that to different audiences. I suppose the best piece of advice I've also been given is that it's supposed to be hard. Uh, and once you recognize that and lean into the challenge, it also becomes fun and enjoyable. Don't get blocked by yourself. Sometimes we can be our own biggest critics and I would encourage you to have the confidence to pursue your dream. Pick an amazing team who you trust and who you think are better than you. And that way you can build the foundations of a really strong business backed with your confidence. I think it's really important to find a journey that has purpose and meaning. If you are committed, then you will want something that truly inspires you every single morning and every single day that is worth doing and worth investing in. So find your purpose and find the meaning and a lot of the rest will follow.